what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel from this wallpaper you can easily see this is revenge os latest version android version 11 which i have installed right now on my redmi note 9 pro it's available for a lot of devices right now which you can install on your device if your device is listed in the description link so you can install it directly if your device is not listed or if this build is not available for you right now you can install this as a gsa gsa for revenge os android 11 is available you can install that if you want to now let's get started let's find out which other things you get in revenge os and is it good enough to use as a daily driver Okay hey guys, first of all this is Revenge OS and it is not based on Pixel OS so yes it's based on AOSP so that's why if you go to the home settings you will see the quick step launcher available there is not pixel launcher so yes of course some features are missing like we have the screenshot option available but no select all option available here you can install the pixel launcher also if you want if you don't know how to install the pixel launcher on your android 11 running any usb based device the link for that video is in the description you can go and check it out if you want to in quick setting launcher in quick step launcher you don't get many extra features you already know like the notification dots and add app icons to home screen etc but not nothing or more and the less and if you talk about the quick settings if you're seeing this we have a little bit of rounded ui everywhere which is one of the main highlight of this revenge os build everything is rounded here you can see the screenshots and a lot more things everything looks really amazing and this is one of the reasons behind use i am using this build because revenge os does not come with many customization but the ui looks quite impressive you can see the brightness slider it's not like the same old android 11 base aosp base rooms it is kind of a little bit of different here looks interesting the colors are different too no extra theming available unfortunately but still it's quite good enough if we talk about the things it's about device specific in my case wi-fi bluetooth do not disturb mode flashlight a lot more things are perfectly fine here maybe in your device this might be the bug if we talk about the Wi-Fi and hotspot, in my case Wi-Fi and hotspot both are working at the same time so that's also quite impressive and I personally choose these kind of things because of my Wi-Fi package. I sometimes use Wi-Fi hotspot to my other device. If it took, if you go for some other device, if you some go for other things which you get in this build, we have almost all AOSP apps available. Right now I have this calculator and clock and some other apps and some apps which I already dismissed, I already disabled them and I've installed replaced apps like the Google phone and Google contacts from the Google Play Store because I sometimes use these kind of apps more. That's why I'm using that. If you talk about the things, let me show you the Geekbench, uh, um, sorry, let me show you the Google camera. Right now I'm using that DMGC 7.3 which I have a video on that so you can go and check it out also with a Gcam downloader so you can use the Gcam downloader also whichever suits you best so you can download from according to your device if you want to and in my case this Gcam is perfectly fine here so this is also one of the reason behind using this build uh, that Gcam is perfectly fine and also including that the Magisk latest V20 1.0 is perfectly fine in my case but unfortunately in my Redmi Note 9 Pro the safety net status is not passed maybe in your case in your device the safe net status could pass but right now in my redmi note 9 pro it's not working at all so but i don't use the banking apps i sometimes use the paytm etc and paytm has no issues with the safety net so i can use banking apps without having any issues some apps like the google pay or free charge might not work but i have not tried them all at all so if you talk about the things which you get pre-installed you also get the retro music app pre-installed you have a little bit of extra things also styles and wallpaper app is also available too which is pre-installed we have the option to enable the gradient effect from here looks kind of interesting you can also create your own theme available if you want to we have the five font styles we have this aileron we have noto serif source sans pro we have the enter themes we have the urbanist and the default one these are the fonts package which we have right now if you want to create any font from here so let's choose these kind of fonts we can choose the colors of course and these are some gradient colors which are pre-installed and so if we choose this one next one click on next you'll be able to easily apply these colors i think i have not tried it by the way and click on apply 
and style is applied according to them so yes the style is applied the style is perfectly fine here in my case styles and wallpapers are also perfectly fine so no issues here also now let's move on to a little bit of things which you get here in settings network and internet bluetooth devices connected devices battery etc almost everything is fine and if you get in almost any android 11 p zooms as expected battery percentage and little bit of things here and there sound storage display location security accounts all the android 11 features are present here if you go to the system option if you go to here we have the option of gestures buttons and little bit of things here and there but no extra customizations as expected we have the volti icon option available too let me show you once we have the volti icon available too but that's also kind kind of great things these were the things i just want to share with you about the revenge OS latest build it's available for a lot of devices you can install this i'll put the link in the description now this is all thanks for watching goodbye